Okay, we're here. We're ready to rock. I don't know. I'm tired. Yeah, I'm good. But <laughs> yeah, I need some caffeine. They can give me, give me a monster later. Yeah. yeah. Three or four of them. Pound them down. Have a heart attack. <laughs> no big deal. All right. A couple days back, Jeff Johns released a video about inside Doomsday Clock. Not Doomsday, but Doomsday mm -hmm. Clock. Now, I am on pins and needles waiting on this comic book to come out. comes out next month, the first of 10, I 12. think, was it 12? 12. 12? 12. Yeah, I can't 12 remember. Issues. 12 issues. And it ties the Watchmen and the Justice League all together. Like the perfect story. Oh my gosh! Especially with him writing too. Him yeah. writing, because you know what? I there's several matchups I'm waiting to see. A. Warshak. Batman. Batman. Not Al. Batman. Either which way? Yeah. Which way got? Which way got? Silk Spectre. Well, heck, she'll get her butt kicked by everybody. That's what am I talking about? God. All the women on that side are freaking... Yeah, what if I want a woman, but all right. Wonder Woman... Wonder Woman can take out yeah. Superman. What are you talking about? <laughs> Wonder Woman... Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, forget that. Yeah. Never mind. Mm -hmm. Well, Wonder Woman can take the world's smartest man on. Yeah. She'd probably beat him up. Probably so. Yeah. yeah. I think she could beat him down. Yeah. Now, the comedian... I don't know. Joker? That'd be cool. That would be cool. Yeah. Jokes are plenty on that one, wouldn't yeah, it? It would. <laughs> Some people gonna die. Some jokes to be said. Mm -hmm. More people will die. Yeah. Problem is, who was the good guy and who's the bad guy in that situation? See, I don't know. They both kind of... <laughs> <kinda vicious. laughs> yeah, seriously. <laughs> and of course, we're gonna get to the final one. Everybody wants to see it. Dr. Manhattan and the big soups. Okay, let's just get to cut to the chase on this. Superman is a two-dimensional character. Very, no, really, he has a good, no, I'm afraid to say, he has a story, not a good one. They play on his abilities as a superpower, you know, oh, he's the most overpowered superhero. He is very overpowered. Compared to Dr. Manhattan, he is not. Uh, and this takes place in the early 80s or early 90s? Early 80s. Yeah, before he early. has all the other nonsense they decided to add in the New 52 and all that. What, are you talking about the... Superman. Uh, yeah, you're talking about the gold Superman? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Superman yeah. Prime or yeah. Superman William Milling, whatever they want to call him. In the... Yeah. Whatever. Yeah, and I agree with that. Yeah. You know what? No power can be worse is the one that Christopher Reeve had in Superman 2 where he took the symbol off and threw it on Zod. <laughs> that was the stupidest power I ever saw in my life, okay? Mm. And then the, the super kiss where he can make someone forget who they are by kissing them. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. Work harder. <laughs> but anyway, let's get into this. This is a little bit of a long video. We may stop it, pause, but we'll talk about it. Let's see what we got here. Jeff Johns, Doomsday Clock. Warshak's my favorite one, by the way. Mine too. Yeah. The dude's insane. Mm -hmm. That's good. I know. I like how the Doomsday Clock reads. Right, so we've already seen some button. of the pages in this book. Yeah, so let, we have them over here. So I'm, I actually want to walk you through them. So this is the first page, and the very first caption of it, and it says in the Ashcan, is November 22nd, 1992. Well, and then it says, or, or maybe it's the 23rd. Oh, okay. So the first, the first panel here is really what you get is you get uh, context of how long it's been since mm -hmm. Watchmen ended. But you also get the narrator who's ever telling you this isn't entirely reliable. Right? Okay. They're not sure yeah. what day it is. That's really important. And here, what we reveal in this very first page, and this is something that we've held back on until we put up this, these previous these pages, is that this is not the DC Universe. Yeah, why did you decide to start on the Watchmen world? Because of the whole story. Because, okay. of, because of the context of the world. And this is much mirrors, in a lot of ways, mirrors the first page of Watchmen. Mm -hmm. right? Where's Where you start movies? close on Rorschach only the sign. And you pull up, and he's walking alone on the sidewalk. And then you pull all the way up, and you're, you know, you're kind of a god's eye point Look of view. Look at that! And it was that god's eye point of view that I wanted to challenge because Doctor Manhattan um, 
is is essentially a god, yeah, right? That, I agree and, with that. And this is all about what the world's become and the strife between the sides that the world has broken into and, a, and kind of a damnation of it, yeah, the damnation really of it all, and, and a perspective of how God is left. It's very detailed. And this is the world he's left too behind. Detailed words have power. And the only way to save it is to bring God back down. Mm-hmm. So rather than stay up in that point of view, we come right back down to, to the That's ground. That's great. And is specifically the sign, we need a doctor, or a specific reference to Manhattan? Yes. Nice. See, the thing, though, um, when they ended that, there's so many references to these pages, itself, right? and also the dialogue that goes with them references it. But here's Warshak's the first dead. big realization that, oh my god, this is Adrian's... And Comedian is killed, yeah. was killed off the And back. people are riding outside it. Well, killed and the reason they're riding outside it... Yeah, he was. First couple pages. As we come to learn, we, we go through here and there's some... This kind of takes us through the world and gives us context of what's going on in the world. And, and, and how, um, like right here, really oh, says okay. the American dreams been shattered. You know, this is the American nightmare, and it's there's chaos throughout the world. And it's resulted in the fact that, when we go to page three, the big plan that Osmanis did has been uncovered, right? The great lie. And it's finally been uncovered. And so suddenly you're like, oh my God. Everyone knows. About everyone this knows, plan, yeah. right? Everyone knows, and you learn how everyone knows to an extent, and then you. You know, you find out he's the most wanted man in the world. And oh, everyone's hunting for him. Yeah, they're that searching for him. He went to Russian know. military. Yeah. And they're outside Karnak. World's and I love this detail. The drop palm kicking trees. Yeah. You know, still frozen mm-hmm. and left over from when he opened up his garden. And the Russian military come in. And all these pages are covered in covered in um, newscasts. And as they they go into Karnak and they, they walk in, like they the have military they find a room we hadn't seen art. previously. Yeah. It's well, this it medical bay. Like where there are some photographs up there, x-rays of a skull and a tumor inside that skull. Mm-hmm. Which, by the way, this is one of the panels that you shared previously, which they're nice little tease. It is. This was yeah. this is one of the panels. And again, this harkens back to Dr. Manhattan's uh, interactions with people in the original Now, I have to go a little nerd. Is February 10th an important date? It is an important date. Okay. Um, and then we go to, you know, the news is going on, and it's basically saying, okay... Uh, the National News Network is taking over as of 6 o'clock tonight, so we're shutting down. We're signing off. Thank you for we're done. all the years. We're done. And as they shut down, we come up on the National News Network. And you see all the TVs now are the same. And there's only one voice being told, and that's a voice directly from the President of the United States. And this is uh, you know, the reporter who's, who's delivering that message and basically said there are things that have happened. Uh, nuclear war could be imminent. And you need to evacuate. And so we come Why to you and evacuate? Talking you about evacuation, you get out of the red zones. No. You come to a prison where all the guards are like, we're out of here. And all the prisoners are like, yeah, yeah, yeah you let us out of here. <laughs> and he says, you know, give me the keys. He said, and this is where we finally reveal, you know, oh. Rorschach. He still he gets up. up and he looks at the guy and he says, you still want out? And the guy says, no, man, I'm cool. And he takes off. There is so many things in here, and with the dialogue on here, you'll be able to dissect. And that's part of the fun of of Watchmen. Is like I want you to read this more than once. I want you to read, read this more than twice. Scary, and I, I want, want you to get in there. Type, right? And there's so I'm many things think throughout this whole up. these whole first six pages alone mm-hmm. that people should have a lot of fun, like just digging into it and seeing, getting more and more meanings. So these first six pages are they're so important because they set up the status of the world, you know, the, the, the mysteries of it all, the, the chaos of, of it all, and then specifically they start to lead into our first character who's, of course, in the center of it all, is Warshak. So this is going to be very, inter- very interesting. I, I'm very, I'm loving the art on this, I really am. Mm-hmm. And the story looks like it's going to be really good because it's Jeff, of course. Yeah. Everything he touches is gold. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. I agree. Um, you know, since he took over, you know, mm-hmm. Wonder Woman, you know, he had, he had some input, but the director had a great input, and she took from him, mm-hmm. I imagine. And went on her own way and did awesome, because Wonder Woman was great. And ever since, you know, this Justice League, and he's, when he took over to get that going, and director change, of course, wasn't mm-hmm. his choice of director change. Because I've seen Vince, but you can see the change in the whole movie mm-hmm. part of it since he took over. But bringing this and redoing the whole DC universe is gold. Yep. 
It really is gold. And I am amazed with this, what he's doing, bringing Watchmen back. So obviously, the first graphic novel, that storyline is wiped out. Yeah. With the whole rebirth of this. I don't want to use rebirth, but it is what it is. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and we pick up that apparently things didn't happen what they mean to be happened. Mm -hmm. So maybe Dr. Manhattan didn't kill Rorschach. Rorschach's still alive. So that means Dr. Manhattan is still alive. Yeah. But is the comedian still alive? That's going to be the key. I love the cover um, art on a lot of the uh, covers they showed, mm -hmm. which was really good. Oh, good. Shows Superman on one of them, so you know he's going to be involved. And they've already been teasing the Watchmen and all the uh, the Flash. Was it Flash? No, it was Batman. Batman. Um, and... and the rebirth number one. one. Yeah, the one shot they did. You know, the last page was Batman finds the the comedian's butt, butt, butt on the right. Bat cave wall. Right. So the comedian might be either that was Rorschach's doing, or the comedian, or the comedian. And I'm going more with Rorschach because remember Rorschach originally picked up the comedian's butt, if I'm not mistaken, yeah, right? He did right off the sidewalk. Right off the sidewalk. So he's got it. It would make sense though if Rorschach's doing it. He's trying to open up Batman's eyes, open up Bruce Wayne's eyes to it, and he would know who Bruce Wayne is. Cause oh, yeah. Rorschach, figure would, it out. <laughs> Rorschach would figure it out. He knew where everybody's super identity was, but nobody knew who he was. Mm -hmm. Typical Batman. You know that's what makes Rorschach so good. Other than that, he's freaking psychotic, mm -hmm. a little crazy. Chop you up with a meat cleaver. So cool. Though. It's okay. Yeah, it's all right. It's all good. So, guys, I I don't know what to say else to say about this. It's um. I think it's going to be an epic storyline. 12 issues. Question is, is <clears throat> how's it, when's it going to release them? Every other month? I think it's going to go every month, or I think some of the rebirth titles are every week. But this would seem like it. 12 issues, you'll do one, one once every a month, month for a year. For a totally two. Yeah. Hey, what comes? So you got Justice League this November. Mm -hmm. This comes out this November. What comes out the next year? Shazam. Yeah. We'll see. Oh, Aquaman. Does it Aquaman? Is that 2019? 2019. Flash? 2019. Batman. I don't know. I don't know. I know Shazam's the first one. Because uh, they're going to try to get that and Green Lantern's. Mm -hmm. be short. The Lantern Corps, actually. Hopefully, it'll be better than the last Green Lantern movie. Oh, my God. That was horrible. Ugh. <laughs> oh. Ugh. Please don't make the Super Suit Green or animated. Anyway, <laughs> so uh, guys, tell us what you thought on this. Uh, you know, Jeff Johns with Doomsday Clock, this whole rebirth, just bringing all this together. Probably just two great you know, storylines together because mm -hmm. arguably the Watchmen graphic novels weren't the best yep. that ever was written. Look on any top 100 graphic novels of all time, it's right there, top five. Top Everyone, five. Every single one of them. Everybody's top five, definitely. I think Killing Joke's on number one for me. Yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah, this is, uh, this is awesome. So, a couple weeks we'll be, we'll have, a uh, Doomsday Clock and Justice League. Yeah. Alright, guys, you know, tell us your comments, anticipation, thoughts of what's going to happen in this whole series, and, uh, leave it in the comments below. And as always, like, share, and subscribe. Comment Cave out.